Pepes. You want to watch a man eat a pizza? <laughs> I know you do. Let's play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Um, sorry about not having been around for like a while, being completely inconsistent despite my promise to try and be consistent. Shit happens sometimes. Uh, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta break the rules. And uh, let me just load up. Uh, is that gonna show up? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Let's fix this somehow. There. That looks nice and big. All right. I got nine minutes till my pizza's ready, so let me talk about this. So, well, there's not really much to talk about. I just didn't stream. Oh my god, my fucking ears. Ow. Sorry about that. That should be good volume for you guys, but uh, anyways. I'm gonna eat a pizza today. That's not really special, but it's what I'm gonna be doing because I'm hungry. I decided to make a pizza before I streamed, so now I'm baking one. It's got ten minutes left. So in nine minutes, I'm gonna get up and then take it out of the oven. <laughs> And I'm gonna stream a little bit more. And then I'm gonna eat the pizza while I play this video game. And it's gonna be really depressing. It's kinda like a mukbang, but like you can't watch me eat it. And instead of something interesting, it's just a whole pizza. Maybe not a whole pizza, I don't know. I don't know if I can if I can handle a whole pizza, but I'm gonna eat a good portion of pizza. Oh, wasn't it shocking that Earthquake was terrible, blah, 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 blah. Okay, it's all the same text. Alright, I don't really know what we're gonna do today. I guess I'm just gonna continue doing stuff until something happens. Like, we didn't need to go out and do anything, did we? I don't think we did. Job list. Yeah. Alright, let's just, uh... Can't accept this. Okay, whatever. Let's just go do some some quests, I suppose. For like an hour or so. And then afterwards, you know. We'll play Soma. Probably. Unless I decide to play it tomorrow, but actually I have to play it today, so never mind. I have nothing I'm doing. I was playing Death Stranding for like, um uh like three hours today that's about it so kind of cool 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 p game pc port for that is really good here let me what do we actually have for our jobs so we got frosty forest upper forest shockwave gotta deliver gummies Yeah, these deliver things. I'm gonna just delete this. I don't need to deliver anything. Do I have gummies? So I'll go to Mount Blaze. Let me check and see if I have a brown gummy. Do I have one? Yes, I am a loser. That's for sure. You're gonna see what how much of a loser I am here in a little bit. When I get that pizza out of the oven. I embarrassingly eat a pizza for an hour. I have brown gummy. I have pink gummy. You can go do that. Here, let's do the pink gummy one. Alright. But yeah, Death Stranding's PC port. Very good. Um, Only one pizza? Yeah. Sorry. Sorry to disappoint. Um, but yeah, the PC... What? Oh. Okay, I was confused by that for a second. Okay, we're going to Great Canyon. Uh, so the PC port is really good, and I'll let me tell you why. It's probably the best... Oh yeah, I have to escort this asshole too. Alright, don't die. Anyways, it's the best PC port I've ever played because it 
it has button prompts. Like you can switch your button prompts from Xbox 360 controller to... Wow. Oh, hey, welcome to the stream, by the way. It's good to see you. Um, no wonder your parents left you for dead in Nepal. You can't even three three whole pizzas like a man. Damn. You're right. You're right, though. I can't eat three pizzas. I've eaten a whole calzone before. That's... You know, I used to be proud of being able to say that. Like, I've eaten a whole calzone. Hold on. Mission objectives. We gotta go 10th and 9th and 10th. Okay. Oh, holy shit. Saying out loud... That I can... I've eaten a whole calzone. I could probably eat it again. You know, e eating a lot isn't that hard. Are you fucking shitting me? Okay. Alright, let's try that again. Whatever. What I wanted to say originally was Death Stranding's PC port is amazing because you can- you can literally- It's the first game I've ever played that's an exclusive PC port. Where it just lets you switch the button prompts to whatever you want, even as a Switch controller. Because it uses Steam input. And it's probably the best implementation of Steam input I've seen from, like, any game developer. You can even restore, um... You can restore the old functionality. So, like, in the original Death Stranding on the PS4, um, when you're... I don't even have my guy yet. Whatever. Please don't kill my Scyther. Anyways, you, uh, you use your controller's gyro to kind of, like, soothe the baby. Whereas, in the PC port, obviously, you know, it's not gonna just, you don't have, like, a gyro by default, because you're using a keyboard. So, it tries to use, like, a button input. Like, you just repeat a button input rhythmically. Um... But you can restore the original functionality if you have a controller with a gyro enabled. Because it just lets you do that. You just flip it over to um setting where it you know just uses the gyro like originally. But I do think it is kind of busted. Because when I tried to use it, it was it was shaking the baby way too hard. Compared to um how I remember it being on the PS4, and it didn't seem like there were sensitivity options. So that might be a problem with Steam input, or it might just be a problem with the way they programmed the game. But still, the effort was made. You know? It was in it was really cool that I could just enable it by default. Otherwise, the PC port is great just because you can play Death Stranding in a high resolution, which looks amazing. I'm, like, re-addicting myself to this game now. I honestly really like Death Stranding. A lot of people I know don't. Um, they weren't fans of it being tedious and stuff. I enjoy it being tedious, because I think of it... I, I find the game charming. Let's just put it this way. I think it's very charming. Your GPU went to gamer heaven. I'm really sorry, man. Rip you. Oh wait, I just realized you're not VIP, you're just a moderator. Actually, no. I mean... If you want VIP, I'll give it to you, but I don't see why... You need both. You want both? Not you, premarital handholder. You have not earned the status of moderator. Oh. Is he gonna die from poison? Please don't die from poison. You couldn't tell me what VIP even means? Um. Well, I hope you mean, like, in the context of Twitch. Because, honestly, I really don't know what it means either in the context of Switch. I just know that I have a limited amount of them. Okay, yeah. I was gonna say, it means very important person. Venetian Infant Perishes. I would imagine the infant mortality would be very low in Venice throughout history, wouldn't it? 
compared to the rest of the world. It's a very, like, developed area. That would be my guess, if I had to guess who had the lowest infant mortality. Although, it was a big city, so there's probably a lot of plague there. So, infant mortality, probably still fairly high. But compared to, like, you know, the Earls or something. Never underestimate the power of ghettos. I don't know if that means it's just very high in mortality or very low. I'm not gonna make a presumption. Also, my pizza is done. Which means, give me one minute. I'll be right back, I swear. I just gotta pull it out of the oven. Give me a minute. Pizza has been pulled. Okay. I'm gonna let that, uh... I'm gonna let that cool down for a few minutes, okay? Let's chill out. Let's go back to the game real quick. Sorry about that. We'll, we'll get the pizza in a minute, but... Uh... When's butt stuffing time? Not, not anytime soon. That's... That's after the stream. Alright. Um... Shit. Get out of here, Berloom. This Berloom has tits. Do you guys see that sprite? Those- the Berlooms have tits. Or they look like they have, like, like, f saggy tits. Do you guys see that? Am I going crazy? Look at that. Get out of here with your parachute pants. No, it wasn't their little necklace. It was like two saggy pale tits. Oh my god. Anyways. I've been I've been really enjoying Death Stranding on the PC. That's basically what I was trying to get out for the past like uh five minutes, I would guess. Yeah, I hear knocked out. Oh shit! Slam him. All right. Very interesting game, and I like I like Death Stranding because it's not boring to me. At least not yet. I played like uh, a few hours of it up until Port Not City, where you go to the second area. Um on the PS4, and then, um, I lost access to that PS4 for a while. Or, not really lost access, but I just stopped playing. Because it, was, it wasn't my PS4. So, I decided to pick it up, uh, t this weekend. Not weekend, but a couple days ago. There you go. You leveled up. Because it was $30 on Steam. Walking Simulator is boring, but only if only if you're like if you don't like Kojima games, then you probably won't like it. It's basically hiking simulator. It's not really a walking simulator, it's more of a hiking simulator. Except it takes place in post-apocalyptic Norway America. I don't even know how to really describe it. Yeah, spooky ghost star car cummies. It's it's a hiking simulator mixed with a stealth game where you don't know where the enemy you're stealthing from is. It's probably the best way to put it. There's also an action element too later in the game. And actually, like there is a lot of it. I I played the first boss and it that was actually pretty neat. Um, uh, boss fight. I don't want to spoil anything. If any of you know how to- what happens at Death Stranding, don't spoil it, I'll be mad. Udins. Yeah. Udins. Homo- Homo Ludens. 
Can you have some pizza? You know what, since you asked so nightly, let, 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 you ask nicely. I'm stuttering a lot today. You ask nicely. You shall receive. Be right back. Let me go get the pizza. For real this time, okay. I'll be back in like two minutes. At most. Stay, stay here. I'll get the pizza. Sauce on my balls. Deliver it to me. Da, 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 I forgot the rest of this fucking meme. A cheesy on my peenie and a sauce on my balls. Oh my god. Alright. First bite. Mmm. Yep. That's definitely a pepperoni pizza. From DiGiorno. It's been in the oven. Buttermilk ranch on it. Do you guys like ranch on your pizza? I do. I used to not be a ranch guy. I used to buy in to the whole uh, anti-ranch propaganda. But ranch on pizza is pretty good. How do I know it's pepperoni? Because I can see it. It's in my hand. It has pepperonis on it. I was going to put anchovies on it because I wanted to try them. But I got the anchovies out of the little thing. It came in this little shitty glass container. And I got them out of there and they had little bones in them. And I thought the whole point of... like I, was, I tried the same thing with sardines and I, that's the same reason why I stopped doing it. Because I saw like little bones. How are you supposed to get those tiny bones out of there? Are they edible? Do you eat them on the pizza with the bones on them? Like, I don't get it. Mustard on pizza? I'm curious now. We'll try mustard on pizza. If you're still around when I get the rest of the pizza, I have half the pizza here. I might do mustard on pizza. Because I've never ate that before. Do you order the pizza boneless? Fuck off. I mean, sardines, you can eat the bones. But. I don't know about anchovies. There were like little rib bones, like the, the thickness of hairs, and I don't want to eat that shit. Mmm. Alright. Just one slice down. Demolished. Let me just reorganize my desk here, and then we'll get back to the can. Why would you ever knowingly eat any bones? Well, sardine bones are soft. They're like tiny, and you eat them, and they have like, um... I guess calcium. I don't know. You can eat bones of some animals. It's just that you can't digest them properly. All right. I have to look back on. Ah oh, damn. Okay, this music's really loud for me. There you go. All right. Let me fix this now. But yeah, I got them on there, and I was just kind of like, I can't eat this shit. So now my pizza just has a slight fishy taste to it in some places. Alright. Okay. Let's go find uh, whatever it is that I'm finding here. But yeah. So, I like ranch on my pizza. And uh, I saw I saw you some uh, someone say, pizza, uh, ranch on pizza, is like ketchup on steak. That's right and then wrong, in my opinion. Why do people put ketchup on steaks? Let me tell you why. Because the steaks usually taste pretty bad. When I add the ranch to it, I'm usually adding more flavor. Like it doesn't seem. I don't, I don't really think it covers up the flavor of the pizza in any real way. 
If anything, it is very unhealthy for me. Because I'm basically just eating fat on my pizza. But also, this is like crappy $10 DiGiorno pizza that I just baked in an oven that I bought with government money. So, if I was going to put ketchup on any steak, I would put it on one of these kinds of steaks. You know what I mean? Right. Here, have your fucking pink gummy. Wait, where is my pink gummy? Because I died. Because the Scyther guy died the first time. I can't give this guy his fucking pink gummy. You gotta be shitting me. Alright, next floor. God damn it. Annoying. Yeah, that's right. I eat pizza with taxpayer money. I'm kind of like a, a living parasite. Like... I was at work yesterday, and I bought a sandwich. But, um... I bought it with my employee discount. It ended up being like $4. One second. It ended up being like... I keep on pressing X because that's the A button on the PS4 controller in America. All right. What, what does Scyther actually want from me? Squirt to Nidoran female. Okay. Anyways, what the fuck was I saying? Something about. Oh yeah, I was at work and I bought this. $10 sandwich for $4. And um, I bought it with my employee discount. And I was kind of sitting there eating it on my break. I was kind of thinking like, this sandwich cost me... I'm not going to say the exact amount because that's kind of embarrassing to say how much it paid. The sandwich cost me like 10 or t between 10 and 20 minutes of my time at this place that I'm eating a sandwich. So the last 10 or 20 minutes of my life did not matter. They were a literal waste of time. They were all in pursuit, essentially, of this sandwich. Alright, let's get out of the dungeon. So I sat there thinking about that. And I was like, fuck this shit. If I'm gonna spend 10 or 20 minutes to eat this sandwich, then they're gonna pay me to eat this sandwich. So I, I was, it was, the break was over, but I just stood there still, and I was just, I just finished the whole sandwich. I just stood there in the break room, and I just ate the sandwich for, like, five more minutes. That's not an interesting story, but I kind of, I think that kind of boils down the way I think about my time. Because I didn't spend the whole, like, 10 or 20 minutes that I lost. But I did cut the cost of that sandwich down, an opportunity cost, by about like five dollars, I think. Not five dollars. More like like a dollar. They paid me to eat a sandwich for a dollar, essentially. So it was still a bad investment, but I got the bonuses of eating a sandwich on work time. And also, I got to eat a sandwich. I spread this sandwich. Speaking of, let me eat this. Is this pathetic enough? To be funny? Oh my god. You know, you never realize how much you need, like, your hands to play video games. Like, how, how many hands... You, you need both hands on this controller to play games. I just... Okay, I guess I'm going to the Great Canyon. Get the hell out of here. Hold on. I'm going off to make a sandwich. And you think it won't be as good as my work sandwich? You might be wrong about that, to be honest. I don't get out of here. Can I can I just quick leave? Give up. 
Here. Anyways. I work at a pretty place with pretty good sandwiches. So. Who knows? But. I will say that the sandwich is not $10 good sandwich. I would not buy a sandwich from where I work. Which I intentionally am like not telling where it is. If one of you guesses where I work. No cheating. For the people that actually know. I will I will silently say you got it right. But their sandwiches are, are pretty good. But realistically they should be like seven dollars at most. Like that's the most I would be willing to pay for one. And even then, like, who pays $7 for a sandwich? I guess rich people. Which is basically who the, the restaurant that I work for is catering to. No, not Chili's. Um. Great Canyon, Shockwave, Facade, Can't Get Home. There you go. There's another one. Squirt. There you go. Stay Voltorb. There you go. Take it with you. Uh, let's delete this. Delete. Let's, I'm not doing any more delivery missions. That's basically the the new rule I'm setting for myself. Excuse me. Let's accept this one. There you go. Good stuff. A anyways, got him. It's this pizza. All this cholesterol is going to my head. All the carbs. Can't think. Um, you know, don't, don't buy a $10 sandwich. $4 is already a lot to buy a sandwich for. Especially if you're on, like, government assistance. And you can already just buy food by just existing. I definitely don't recommend buying a $4 sandwich. But, hey man, who knows? Every time you stutter, do five squats to make up for putting ranch on pizza like a caveman. I'm not a caveman. Cavemen don't eat this many carbs. Sorry about that. What's the most amount of money I've ever spent on food? So... I don't actually know off the top of my head. So... Let me- let me guess. So, uh, I'm guessing different scenarios. One would be, um... The possibility of me spending a lot of money at, like, a party. Like, a, going to a restaurant, a fancy restaurant. When I say fancy restaurant, I mean like, 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 I don't even know, uh, okay, just myself, the most money I've spent on just myself for food, probably, probably a DoorDash or something, I spent like $30 on DoorDash before, which is a terrible idea, that's just a waste of money, don't, don't ever order food, unless you're like really drunk. Then you may as well just make a bad decision with your money. Yeah. The DoorDash is basically like, take whatever you would have spent normally, and then multiply it by two. Two point like five, even. And you'll get roughly the price you're probably gonna spend on DoorDash. They have a subscription thing? Sorry, I'm eating. I need to clarify this. If I if I take a long pause between things, that's me eating a pizza like a monster, if you can't hear it. I'm a sloppy eater. God. Why am I so gross? Let me take a sip of water. What's their subscription thing? Because I, I hate using DoorDash. 
I only use it if I'm like completely wasted and I'm really hungry and I really want grease. It's greasy food. And I'll like order something from Jack in the Box or something. This Jack in the Box has like the greasiest food on the planet. $10 a month for no delivery fees and like 10% of the tax you don't. Okay. That's a pretty good offer. So it would be like... That, that just makes it slightly more expensive than it would be normally, wouldn't it? Essentially. Also, let me check what floor I need to go to here. 7th and 8th floor, okay. So how does that, how does that end up stacking up? That's what I'm asking. Because I might get that. That's not too bad. Ten dollars a month is not too bad. What is that? One hundred twenty dollars a year for the ability to order fast food at a really decent price. I'd say that's pretty good. Evens out, but you gotta check your area to see where it's just your sword. Oh, it's only some restaurants that do the the, the um, subscription. If so, that's kind of lame. And then I wouldn't do that. It's most. Hmm. I'd have to look into that. I think that's fair to say. Also, I'm almost done with my third slice of pizza out of six. So we're halfway marked on this pizza. Okay, we're done. If I do the mustard, I'll probably do it on just one slice. I'm gonna not eat the rest of this pizza. I'm sure to get full. All right. Let me take a second to breathe. How long did it take me to eat that pizza? 20 minutes? That's pretty gross. Okay. Fuck. Whew. Let me take off my jacket. So, what do you guys have like subscription services for? That's a good question. I always like figuring out what people are willing to spend money on per month. Most of those things add up. Have you ever considered uh, buying a Twitch subscription? <laughs> those are pretty cool. I, I think those are pretty worth it. I don't have any personally, but I would definitely recommend it. Just saying. I don't know. You know, it's up to you. You can get some pretty cool things, I've heard. Pretty cool features. Um, I, I spend money on Spotify, which is stupid, but ultimately worth it. Here's what I think about Spotify's premium thing. I'm not really that bothered by commercials, but it, it is worth it. Mostly just because, one, you get access to doing, like, the connecting up to, like, uh, Bluetooth or whatever. And, you know, like, being able to actually use the platform other than just listening to a couple songs. Hey, look, it's a Pupitar. I guess Azrael is friends with Pupitar because they're both blue. Is Pupitar blue? That doesn't seem right. Is it Pupitar green? Pupitar. Pupitar is gray. That's weird. I guess it's silverish. Grayish blue? Yeah. I always thought it was green. Wait, no, I don't want to leave. Okay, there you go. There's a Mandela effect for you. Was Pupitar originally green? His name is Pub Pubeater? No? 
So, I guess that phonetically makes sense. You have a poor grasp on English. Which most people do. Including people who speak it primarily. So, fair enough. I have a poor grasp on English. Barely speak it, as you can tell. Kind of talk like, um... My mouth is full of needles. That's pretty much how I talk. I'm, like, really bad at it. Makes you wonder why I choose to do this. Alright, there you go. I'm pretty sure there wasn't any, like, um... Story stuff that I'm missing, right? I didn't have any current mission. I think it just wanted me to do some... Some, um... I'm just messing around with my thing real quick. Um... Some some rescues and stuff. How close are we to silver metal? Whatever it is. Oh, there you go. We're silver rank now. Awesome. I think that gives me a little statue now. Of one of the previously revealed Gen 4 Pokemon that weren't out yet. Because that's funny. Do you guys remember when Gen 3 had, like, Gen 4 Pokemon in it? Oh. Oh, wow, another earthquake. Story stuff. I guess it settled down. Must have been a lot of earthquakes lately. Earthquake, earthquake. Oh, hi, you're up early, man. Did you notice the earthquake earlier? Like 10 seconds ago? It's hard to get some decent sleep when there are so many earthquakes. Hey! Oh, it's Slombre. Oh, Lombre. What's the matter? We need you at the square, man. Everyone's gathering there. Is there something wrong? I'm not really sure, Holmes. Chitri's calling everyone out. He's getting the other rescue teams to come, man. Every time I do this fucking voice, it gets lazier and lazier. Oh, shit. Those are a lot of people I've never seen before. Wow, look at all the Pokemon. Looks like they sent out a lot of rescue teams for help. I've seen some pretty famous leaders from faraway places. Places. That's Shift Tree. I wonder what he's planning to do with all these rescue teams. Oh, is Lombri talking? Next episode, Mint gets cancelled by Twitter. Unfortunately, I don't think that what I'm doing is cancelable. He's Lombre, man. His name's Lombre. If anybody deserves to get cancelled, it would be Game Freak, okay? That's how Lombre probably talks, if he could speak English. Uh, not, not that I don't think he can, he's just, just a Pokemon. Um, can I get everyone's attention here? I, uh, it's not my style to get up in front of everyone like this, and... Sorry, this isn't the time for that. There's big trouble. Alakazam's team went underground. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. I think that's why I'm stuttering. Give me a second. <sighs> oh, mucus. God damn. You eat oily food, you get mu mucus in your mouth, and... My tongue is, like, slipping all over the place, and I have, like, um, build up a snot in my nose. I also have a shortness of breath of fever, and also I'm coughing a lot? What is this about? But they haven't returned. What? Is that true? Yes, unfortunately. Alakazam led his team underground to quell Groudon, and that's it. We haven't heard anything from them. To be honest, we have no idea what became of them. That's rough. No idea? How is that possible? This is Alakazam you're talking about. But they haven't come back. It's for real. That's right. Sounds like Groudon's out of our league. What is that, though? This Pokemon named Groudon. Why don't you go underground and see for yourself? Huh? You've gotta be kidding me. There's magma flowing everywhere on ground. I'd burn up if I went anywhere like that. Quiet, please. Be quiet. There's no denying that it's dangerous underground. It's not a place where anyone can go. That's why I asked so many rescue teams to gather today. 
I propose that a special team be formed by choosing the best of the best. Who will step forward? Who among us will be the heroes to take on the challenges among underground? I'll do it. Say, man, this is a great opportunity. Let's go. Fearless. Don't bother, you guys. What's with you? Can you step aside? You guys have gotten a lot tougher. That's for sure, but... There's plenty of tougher Pokemon out there, hombre. I'm barely even doing the accent, okay? I'm just saying hombre and Holmes after his stuff. Will no one step forward? I'll go. Whoa! It's Blastoise! You mean Team Hydro's Roughneck Blastoise? Those water sprouts on his back and what? Uh, his back can rocket water so fast that it punches through thick iron plates. Zoomer Groudon is a ground type. I am a water type. Strong against the ground type. Stonks. My hydro pump will put Groudon down in one shot. I'll join the party too. Woohoo, it's Octillery! She's Team Constrictor's leader. She's known for, persis for persistent and clingy attacks. She ensnares foes with her tentacles, then headbutts them. She'd be nasty in face in any battle of endurance. Darlings, when I see a tough Pokemon, I want to tangle with them. Say, how about not forgetting about me? Ow, Golem! He's the most brutal out of Team Rumble Rock. His body is rock hard. He's supposed to be able to withstand huge explosions without taking damage. Groudon's awakened underground, that suits me just fine. I'll use my rock flow to keep it buried underground. Why does Golem evolve from Graveler? I never really understood that. He's like a turtle creature. He comes out of like the, the rock monster. Oh, Blastoise, Octillery, and Golem. No one could complain about your selection. We'll have these three rescuers head underground. Yeah, good choice. You're representing us, make us proud. Let's go. Wait for us. Save Alakazam's team. See, muchacho? They look pretty tough, huh? Let them handle things, hombre. God. Hmm, it can't be helped, Mint. I guess we don't have to die today. I wish we could have gone too, but there's nothing we can do about that. Blastoise team can take care of things underground. We'll keep doing the best we can in our rescue work, though. Sleep in the bed. What has it been? 47 minutes? Tell you what. How about I do that mustard pizza soon? As soon as I get the guy who wants to see it. Alright. Let's put away some money. If people want to see the mustard pizza, I'll try it. Alright. Let me go check out this first, though. Oh, I don't have the, um, statue. I thought you got a statue. What do you have to say? Well, our son, tell me, do the earthquakes frighten you? Yes, papa. They are very scary. Especially when I'm out burrowing. It makes me twitchy because I get so scared. Papa? Papa, aren't you afraid of the earthquakes? Of course they don't scare us. What do you take us for? We were in charge. This is what we do to any earthquake. Ha! Ha! Hey ha! Hey ha! <sighs> okay. Papa, you're so special. Yeah, why does he get three three dads? Yeah, I'm not judging, but it's kind of weird, don't you think? Except that, except that, except that. All right. Um, let's take these jobs. I'm gonna go do the mustard pizza now. I'm curious. So one final BRB. Well, not the final one today, but the final one for Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Let's say that. Be right back. Let me go get the mustard and the pizza.
I want you to know. Are you in my opinion, I guess? I've never done this before. So. What do I got here? Got pepperoni pizza that I made. It's a little lukewarm. And now I have um my French's classic yellow mustard. So let me get that out here. Running out of mustard, so let me. There you go. I got the mustard. He zigzag pattern it across the pizza. That was the mustard. There you go. Liberal amount of mustard. Smells like pizza and mustard. Hangy. Hangy yellow mustard. Let me try this. That's, uh, that's not too bad. It is definitely mustard on pizza. Hmm. I know what it kind of does. Kind of gives, like, the cheese and the sauce an even more grainy texture. I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of nice, though. It gives it kind of like a kick. I wouldn't go as far to say as like I would I would eat this on my pizza all the time, but it's definitely not bad. Let me finish this off. Hmm. It could grow on me. It's a grower. Yeah, it gives me that tang, a zang. It's definitely not bad. I'm I'm a big mustard guy. I like mustard. I like it on meat though. Mustard on pizza. Definitely not my thing, but it works. But it actually works. That's just like hot dog. All right. Oh, I made this. Yeah, I'm done. No. Oh. Okay. I'll plug this back later. Put my mustard over here first. Recommend Whataburger mustard. Whataburger. How the fuck do you pronounce that? I've never in my life, like, went out of my way to get a special condiment. The only one I can think of, the only condiment, you know who has a really good condiment? Is Red Robin. Their fire sauce is really good. They have a really good sauce. Anyways, here you go. Here's the game again. I'll mute it. Alright. That's enough pizza for today. Alright, we'll keep on... We'll keep on doing some jobs. And then we'll, uh... Excuse me. We'll switch to uh, Soma here in uh, like 20 minutes, I think. Let's go to Mount Freeze. Okay. That was four sixths of a pizza. A little over half a pizza. Want to become famous by followers, primes, and viewers on https click.russia r9gkv bigfollows.com? That doesn't sound like a question. Sorry, pal. I don't think I'll be doing that today. I get spam bots all the time. 
I think they're really funny though. Well, who who is that supposed to like? Is that for you guys or is that for me? Because I don't think I would ever like be in the middle of my stream and be like, "What's this? A, a link ending in dot R U? I can buy followers and viewers?" Well, this is just frankly the the opportunity of a lifetime. Let me interrupt my whole stream and uh, get scammed here. Good lord. I think that's more for like people who watch streamers that want to stream, like me. But not not for my chat. Oh, you went out of your way and banned him. Eh. I mean, I guess that's that's that would be your job, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you for banning the chatbot. All right. God damn. How many floors I have to go through just to get through this? You want to try to see if you could remove the message? I think you need to do like um. There you go. You have to do like uh. Remove the message in a weird way. I don't know how. I've never moderated a Twitch chat before. Alright. Um Let me beat let me club this seal real quick. Club it. Do they club and club penguin, do they club seals? That's a really weak joke. I'm not gonna lie. What if that bot was catalyst for was the catalyst for Ninja's Fort Ninja Fortnite's entire gaming career and you just missed out? Like I could have been the next ninja, but for Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Also, you just roasted the hell out of um. Here, give this to Bubs. You just roasted the hell out of uh. Ain't my inventory still full? Okay. Um, let's eat apple. Um, I like how you just said that the basis for his entire career was buying viewers. <laughs> I don't think that's true. I think it's funny though. What? I killed you. Get out of here. Oh, he had a reviver seed. That's annoying. Bye, oh, Pupitar. Is Pupitar's shiny form blue? Like, I really don't get it. When did Pupitar become gray? So oh, odd. I think it's mostly because Pupitar is one of those Pokemon you don't really think about. What is he? The evolution of, um... What am I thinking of? Wait a minute, what, what Pokemon is Pupitar? Pupitar is Larvitar's evolved form. What am I thinking of? Fortress. I'm thinking of... I'm getting it confused with, um... What do you call it? Pinecone. Pine Pineco. Pineco. They're very similar looking Pokemon. Wait, are you about to die? Oh my god. That could have been a major waste of time. God. No, I wasn't thinking of Metapod. I was thinking of Pineco. Like, I, I knew that Pineco was a grass type. I think. And then I also knew... I don't know. I think I might just be an idiot. I might I might be retarded. That might be the reality. You might have a serious a slight case of very serious mental retardation. You remember that in, in Portal 2 when he said you're retarded? You probably stop saying that word. I don't know if that's bannable. Anyways, Oh, hey, it's, uh, the furry. Zangoose. Zangoose is a cool-looking Pokemon. It looks like somebody's, like, fursona. 
though. Am I wrong? Kind of looks like um, like something that has a lot of porn of it. I don't know if it does or not, but I would, I would, that would be my guess, potentially. Do we have any porn experts that could tell me? Sod. Um, eat an apple. On it. What's my opinion on free conventions? I don't know. If I was like 15, I would tell you that I hate them and I think that they're creepy and weirdos or whatever. Because that was my opinion like six or seven years ago. But I'm an adult. And as I, I grow older, I start to realize that there are much more weird people, much more deserving of, of ridicule than furries. So ultimately, they can do what they want. Just, you know, they should be a little more honest about what, what they're bringing to town, I think. That's my concern, is that uh, these poor towns, they get these furry conventions. They don't real. they like, the mayor of the, t the city or whatever will just sign off on it. Yeah, you can have the convention center for a couple days. Little do they know, they're about to have a scum, scum hole of like, weird sex stuff coming to their town. It's basically like a BDSM convention, essentially. But hey, there's something wrong with that, you know? Yeah, don't bring children to one. Don't don't bring your child to one. No, I don't want to leave yet. That that'll be my advice. Cause it is a sex thing. I'm sorry. I know. I'm not trying to be mean. I got nothing against people who have weird sex things. I've got a few myself. I just don't, you know, go out in public with them. But All I'm saying is, if you say you just like the pictures, you just like drawing. I'm sorry. You could draw other stuff, man. It's a sex thing. That, that's what I've been led to believe, at least. I've never seen any arguments to the contrary that were convincing to me. Let's put it that way. And every everyone that I've ever known to be a furry has been into weird sex stuff and again there's nothing wrong with that like I don't I don't care again there are, there are much worse things you can be than into weird sex stuff but just don't kid yourself that's all I'm saying I hope that makes sense. This guy fell asleep on the job just now. I don't think many people would disagree with me. But, I don't like saying hot takes. Whatever happened to the classic missionary position? I've heard it's still in use. I'm a big fan of the missionary position. You know, it's the easiest one. From my perspective, you know? It's the easiest one, it's a classic. There's nothing wrong with it. Alright, save Voltorb and get the hell out of here. This is some adult conversation for, uh, for Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. That's all I'm saying. Alright. 400 Poke Dollars. Why would a Numel ever be friends with a Voltorb? The other thing I don't understand about this game is the, f the friendships of the Pokemon. Sometimes they make sense, sometimes they don't. Like, a Pikachu and a Trico, that makes sense. A Nidoran and, like, another, like, forest Pokemon. That makes sense. 
But where in the world does a, a Voltorb <laughs> mean a Numel? Story? Oh, there you go. Oh, another earthquake. There must have been so many quake. Or there have been so many quakes late quakes lately. I wonder when they'll settle down. Oh, or mint. There's a commotion down at the square. A lot of Pokemon have already gathered there. Let's go to the square right now. The other people left, <laughs> and now they're missing. Oh, Lombre. What's going on here? Hey, pubs. Well, you should just go see for yourself. Oh my god. Look, it's Blastoise. Shift tree. What happened here? They were wiped out. In the underground dungeon. You're kidding. Oh, that place. It's rough. Seriously. We couldn't even get far enough to see Groudon. I won't ever want to go to oh, pace that bad again. It appears the dungeon underground is far worse than we'd imagined. <laughs> what fools! That's what you get for trying the impossible. Gengar? What are you saying? It's only expected we try. This is for saving Alakazam's team. <laughs> you really think- you're fine, really fine thinking hard, don't you? Even they look smart compared to you. It's too much. Even Blastoise went down. It's gotta be awful tough. Who would want to go into a dungeon that dangerous? There's no way, I can't go. I'd burn too easily. I can't take earthquakes. I feel like going and knowing full well we get wiped. Everyone! You see? Even these seem to finally understand their situation. <laughs> I... My leafy feds would burn up. Even Shift Tree. <laughs> Get over it. Don't be expected to be rewarded just because you tried. Sometimes it's better to wise up and give up. Huh? Did I say something profound? <laughs> Ugh. Mint, I don't know anymore. What should we do? It's the impossible. We still try to rescue Alexan. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I could beat up a god. I already beat up three. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, Mint. Everyone, listen. We're going to rescue Alakazam's team. What? What did they say? <laughs> hey, who are they? Can't say I know them. It's Team Stream. They're well known around these parts. Team Stream? You mean the lot that were suspected of the involvement with the Nine Ninetales legend? I heard about that. Are they living like fugitives until recently? Can they handle it? They don't look very tough. It's true, the rescue might be too much for hands to handle. What? We're still a rescue team. Help Pokemon suffering from natural disasters. That's why we started up our rescue team. That's why I want to rescue Alakazam's team more than anything. Never giving up. That's where Team Stream takes takes its pride. <laughs> you really aren't very bright, are you? Why don't you do like everyone else and wise up? No. Bubs is right. Eh? That's right, I wasn't thinking straight out of fear. Ugh. We all forgot the most important thing. We're all rescue teams. Pride. We have it too. Pride is rescuers. <laughs> have you all lost your senses? Why would you listen to that clown and worse, be persuaded? Why go if you're facing a certain defeat? That's so. I've only failed once. Blastoise. This is no time to be lying around. Ugh. Yes, no more wallowing in woe is me self pity. I don't fucking want to go. You guys are on your own. Artillery. 
You lot. That wasn't the tune you were whistling just a little. Hey, that's right. There's gotta be ways we can get through. If we all pull together, we'll be sure to find a way. We'll conquer the dungeon by having all rescue teams cooperate. Oh. Ah. Are you dreaming? Don't say I didn't warn you when you get into a world of pain. <laughs> What is his stake in it? So does everyone just go to this plaza and lie down to let everyone know they got their asses kicked? Yes. That typically is how it goes. They go into the plaza and they're like, What's going on? See for yourself. Ten feet away. A dead guy. Thank you, bubs. You stopped us from throwing away the most important thing we have. Pride. My thanks from all of us. Everyone, it's still time to get to work. Let's show them what, what rescue teams are really about. Rawr. Okay. We were held up by that trouble with Gengar, but now we're getting the chance to go to the underground dungeon. I'm not leaving until tomorrow, but I'm jumping with anticipation. Let's spend today getting ready for the dungeon. Let me know when you're all ready to go. Alright, I think that's it for now. For PMD. For tonight. I'm gonna switch to Soma. Oh, that's good enough. Here, let me just, um, save state. No, not load state. Save state. No. Save state. There you go. All right. That's enough for now. I'm going to go to a BRB, and then I'm going to be back in a few minutes. But when we come back, we're going to do Soma. And hopefully we'll make some progress. I got stuck last time on Halloween. Jesus Christ, it's been a whole month since I played. God. Anyways. We'll, um... We'll do Soma. We'll make some progress, probably. I mean, I, ho I would hope so. I really hope I don't just end up spending, like, an hour in the same area. Like, hiding from a monster. But anyways, we'll... we'll I'll be right back. I go to the bathroom and a whole bunch of other stuff. Settle my stomach. Put away mustard, etc. But yeah, I'll be back in a little bit. Thanks for watching so far. I hope I see you when I come back.